Today we'll be talking about the DustSilver D66, DustSilver's newest keyboard, and you probably have never heard of them. Well, before this video, neither have I. So they reached out to me and wanted to sponsor this video. Here we are with the 65% keyboard, and I've got some cute colors here. I've got one in peach oolong, and the other I think is milkshake, so they're both super duper cute. Which one do we open first? I I'm gonna choose peach oolong just because it's much more cute. It's much more colorful. So the box, I think this this probably says dust silver. Other side definitely says dust silver. And then there's some stickers. I don't understand any of this, but it is a Bluetooth keyboard and it's very cute. Ooh, pretty fancy box. And this is a keyboard. It's very compact, very small. It's already got nice keycaps, good switches, very rainbow, very cute. You also get an accessory box. So it's very nicely packaged. And that is one of them. Take a look at the other one. So the milkshake one, very subtle white keyboard. So two very distinctly unique keyboards. On the back, you got a single angle kick of feet. The keyboard already has an angle, so that makes it really nice to type on. I can feel that the keycaps are a little strange. They're not cherry profile. They're a different profile. And I believe it's called, what is this profile? It's called MDA profile. So it's definitely different. It is sculpted. So each row is different. It's not a flat profile. The one thing that bugs me right now is that the bottom row is pretty high up. It feels like the space bar just juts out a little bit too high. So that is strange. Does it have a dongle? I know it has Bluetooth. It comes with a rubber cable. It's fairly long and it is USB-A to USB-C. You get a manual. That is not the manual. You get a manual with all the little details on what goes in the keyboard. We'll keep that open, of course. You also get a keycap switch puller, so it is hot swappable. That's nice. And you get keycaps for Mac. Five color die sub MDA keycaps. The print is pretty high quality and the curvature is interesting to say the least. The on off button is on the top right side, but there's no label. So right turns it on, left turns it on. So somewhere in the middle is off. So your dongle, you got a USB-C to USB-A adapter. Put your dongle in here. Quite a tight fit, extra, extra tight fit. I am scared. <laughs> I'm scared that it'll get stuck. That is not cool. It's stuck. We'll just, we'll just push that over there to the side. We can do wired. Not a big deal. Although I do want to try and connect it later just to see. So Dust Silver. We don't know them as a brand, but now we sort of have an idea. Dust Silver aims better to cater to the user group of the younger generation. Your equipment is more than just desktop dress up. That's cute, but a keyboard that looks cute is, I mean, it sort of is desktop dress up. If you say it like that. That's why I wanna look at the other one now. I'm tired of peach oolong. You got the knob on the top right. It's tactile, but not audible and not super satisfying. It's actually really small. It's just super easy to lose something like this. And it's not on there super tight either. Let's turn it on. We'll do wire because I went ahead and ruined the dongle by accident. Maybe the other one's better. We'll see how tight this dongle thing is. It's better. The white one, it has less intense tolerances. Okay, never mind. We're doing Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is on. Seems really responsive so far. Now that it's on, we get to Look at all the RGB. So the knob has an RGB ring underneath it and it looks super cute. I really like that. And then there's also RGB here in the front and that looks really nice. I like the white one a lot more. It just seems a lot more versatile. FNA gets you cycling through different RGB colors. FNS is for different effects. So I don't know about you, but a white keyboard plus RGB looks really nice. So keycaps are PBT, die sub. Let me look at what switches we're using. Whoa, Gateron G Pro Blacks in this one. It did not feel that heavy. Yeah, that's black, this must be red. Yep, this is red. That's so strange. The keycap profile actually makes it so it doesn't feel that heavy. But if I had to pick a switch for longer term use, I would go with red. In addition, they have a bunch of other switch types too. So you can pick from either Gateron or Odamu, black, red, or brown. So another downfall for you clicky folks, 
once again, there are no clicky options this time. I feel like there never are. What is happening to clicky game? Did last year just release so many clicky switches? Or maybe they didn't sell. That could be a possibility. <laughs> no one uses clicky switches anymore. Maybe some of you do. I do not, so I don't relate. I don't feel too bad. And if you wanted clickies, you could take them all out, put clickies in, and you'll still get a clicky experience. It's good for everybody, except clicky game. So you get an aluminum plate underneath. There's no flexibility. The website says it is top mount, so it's fairly stiff. And as for foam, there are two layers of foam. There's no case foam. There's no tray foam. There's no tray in the first place. And then for stabilizers, you get plate mount stabilizers and they are looped quite nicely. Oh, one downside. There, there are many downsides, but one downside. There's no dongle holder anywhere on the keyboard. I think they could have just cut a slit here, pushed it in there, called it a day. It's such a small keyboard that I can see people taking it places going to school. I would take this to school if I was still going to school. It's also fairly quiet. You get a pretty muted sound, but if you do take it to school and you're typing on it, taking notes in the back of the lecture hall, oh yeah, this is not cool. No, no one's gonna accept that. If someone's sitting next to you, they'll probably give you a side eye and be like, stop typing, please. So first downside, no dongle holder. Second downside, no secondary legends. If you want to do things like insert or end, you have to read the manual. So a lot of the things are done in secondary layers and there is software, although it's not super simple and easy to use like Via, but most of the things that you'll need will be on the keyboard itself. It's a good keyboard. It comes right out of the box like this. It's gonna sound pretty good. It's gonna sound pretty decent. They're all pretty lubed already, except oh, Odemu, don't get Odemu switches. At least I don't think they're gonna be pre -lube. The price right now for these keyboards is $109 on the Dust Silver website. But for a limited time between June 19th and June 25th, they are running a big sale, 10 to 15% off on these keyboards and other keyboards on their website right now. If you use the link in the pinned comment and use code switch and click, save money, do that. You probably wanna hear a typing test. This is Yaron G Pro Black. Pretty decent. And now this is Gateron G Pro Red. Yeah, the reds actually sound deeper despite being a lighter weight. When it comes to typing though, it doesn't feel any different. Like there's no difference in spring weight for now, but maybe if you're playing your WoW or your whatever RPG games, or you're tapping a lot in FPS games, like you're gonna start to notice that fatigue in a black switch. I do like the reds the most here. I'm not a tactile person, so I don't have any say or opinion on the browns. Browns exist. They're out there for you to get. I've right, looked at the whole keyboard and now it's finally time to put it in the 100 plus keyboards ranked Notion database full of every keyboard we've ever reviewed and forever growing table. That is the name. Dust Silver D66. Very cute, very cake-like. The price is $109. But there is a sale right now. There's an affiliate link down below as well. Connectivity, you've got USB-C, 2.4G and Bluetooth. Hot swappable, yes. Keycap, their PBT mounting style is top mount according to the website. And notes, there's a lot of notes. The dongle is very tight in it's adapter, no dongle storage. MDA profile is interesting to get used to. Knob is fairly small and gets loose easily. Overall, very positive. Plate, got aluminum, RGB, absolutely. This is a 65% keyboard, got custom software, got plate mount stabilizers, they are pre-lubed. And then, for ranking, there are very little downsides on this keyboard. However, for the $109 price point, I think we've seen keyboards that do have storage, that do have a better knob, that have more accessibility, like switching between the different Bluetooth profiles and 2.4G. I would really appreciate some kind of 
label here to determine which side is 2.4 and which side is Bluetooth. And if we had another angle of feet that was lower, but those are really nitpicky things. The biggest thing for me is probably the profile makes it difficult to type on and difficult to get used to. Although I do really like the colorway, like it's super cute. It's between four and five stars. If I really had to give it one, I think four is fair. It's a good keyboard. It sounds great out of the box. Just missing like just a few things to just get it to that five star range. Tell me what you think about it down below, whether you would get it. Do you like cute keyboards? And check out the table. Anyways, goodbye.